Hey Riders, what is really good though? We are back with another playlist vlog. Whoa, 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 playlist vlog. <coughs> In this video, I share this month's newly refreshed side tracks playlist, as well as review my top seven picks from this month's playlist. All of that coming up. Hey everyone, hi, hello. If you are new here, my name is Ryan Flores and I am an independent singer-songwriter, audio engineer, and music, what the fuck do I do? Singer-songwriter, audio engineer, and music curator based in Toronto, oh, what the fuck? I post weekly vlogs on this channel every Tuesday. However, I did forget to post last week. Well, I didn't forget. I knew I wasn't posting because I was just a little bit busy with my new single release, Better This Way. I just had a ton of stuff to do, so doing the vlog just kind of left my mind that week. But we're back, and we better. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like, click that thumbs up button for me, as well subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash rfloresvlogs for vlogs every Tuesday. Okay. So if you guys aren't familiar already, Sidetracks is a playlist that I curate and it is available on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music. And this playlist focuses on highlighting great songs by smaller independent or undiscovered artists. Uh, usually in the genres of pop and R&B, although I am open to adding songs from any genre, as long as it makes me bop what a bull. Enough with the talking, we'll get straight to the music. Here is the first song of seven that I want to share with you guys this week. Here we go. I got pressure, she call me diamond on the weekend. The music. Got so much pressure, that's why this song be stuck on weekend. And I got, I got pressure, she call me diamond on the weekend. So the first song that I'm sharing with you guys this week is called Miss Shiny by an artist named Kayit. I really hope I pronounced that right. And this song wasn't released in the last month and I didn't actually find it myself. It was recommended to me by a coworker. His name is Mark, shout out to Mark. Thank you for showing me this song, you know, bruh. <laughs> Kait is a neo soul artist from Melbourne, Australia. And my first impressions of the song, bruh. Stank face and do sing, like, like this song's gonna make you pull a face like this. Like, it has like that neo soul slash R&B slash funky vibe and those smooth buttery vocals just, ooh. Ooh. In an article on Wonderland magazine, Kayit explains, quote, Miss Shiny is about going through writer's block due to self-doubt and not trusting myself and the process. This track is more of a reminder for me, something I listen to when I'm tripping and need something to remind me that I got this. I mean, as a songwriter myself, this is super relatable. Like there are times that I hit writer's block and I don't know what the hell I'm doing and I start doubting myself and like my writing skills. But bruh. -bruh. You got this. You got this. In terms of the production, I really love the sound of those dreamy keys along with that funky bass line. And the lyrics in the pre-chorus totally resonate with me. Uh, so those lyrics are, quote, and my overthinking will be the death of me and my pointless stressing for my motivation that I feel I need. Like, again, like I said, this is super relatable as a songwriter. I tend to overthink a lot and then it gets to the point where I get stressed and I don't know what I'm gonna do. But bruh, You've been dreaming of being a songwriter and releasing music your whole life and you're doing it. Why are you stressing? Why are you stressing? That whole first verse really nicely describes the feeling of writer's block, at least from Kaid's perspective. Writing and singing songs for a living is what Kaid always dreamed of doing and she's doing it already. And in this verse, she kind of tells herself not to be so hard on herself and that she is her own biggest critic. And again, with anybody in the arts, we always are the biggest critics of ourselves totally relatable. If you want to listen to a really funky neo soul R&B-ish song, check this one out. Miss Shiny by Kaid. Okay, let's get on to the second song. Here we go. Mm. 
Okay. So the second song I'm sharing with you guys this week is called Some Kind of Love by Looney. And again, this is a track that I did not find myself. It was recommended to me by a co-worker named Zeke, who is also out here, a singer-songwriter, you know. <laughs> Looney is a local R&B soul singer-songwriter from Scarborough in the East End of Toronto. And my first impression of the song when Zeke showed me this song, like another stank face inducing song, bruh. Like, bruh. Stank face inducing and head bopping. Like, her vocals in this song are just so beautiful, tender, soulful. And the thing is, she isn't really doing that much with her vocals. She's just doing her thing. And it somehow is so captivating. Just her just singing. The thing is, the song is like almost like five minutes long, which for me is kind of long, but. Listening to the song, I don't care if it's five minutes, like, it's worth it. It's worth it. Take a listen to it. In an article in FYI Music News, Looney explains, quote, The song is about a moment in your day where you just somehow feel more connected to the beautiful things in the world, rather than not. This can be kind of a rare and fleeting feeling for me, and I wanted to try and encapsulate that moment, and freeze it, almost, into something that just feels good. You know when you're just so left in awe over something so beautiful like you're just like <laughs> like this song gives a sonic definition to that feeling like bruh it's just so beautiful like li listen to it just listen to it <laughs> again this song has a really great funky sound and bass line along with those angelic harmonies and that prominent kick drum the production overall is super solid it's a vibe, like I said, it's a vibe. So definitely check this song out. It's called Some Kind of Love by Looney. All right, let's get on to the third song. Here we go. So the third song that I'm sharing with you guys this week is called Colorblind by an artist named Mokita. And Mokita is a singer-songwriter based in Nashville, Tennessee. And my first impressions of this song, bro, we're taking a turn here. This one is like hashtag kawawa. <laughs> kawawa. Uh, it's like in my feels, like heartfelt. It's like borderline emo type, like, type of song, but with like a pop touch to it. The vocals, they just sound so vulnerable and emotional. Like you can almost hear the sadness in the way that the vocals are delivered. The thing is like the production just, it sounds like encouraging. Like it's not overly sad, especially with that drum beat and those guitar licks. Definitely like uplifting in some way. According to Mokita, quote, I wrote Colorblind as an attempt to try and describe depression to someone who has never experienced it. I started experiencing severe depression when I was 14 years old and had no idea what it was really until several years after going through it. It took me a long time to have the courage to be open and transparent about my battle with depression and anxiety, and songwriting has become one of the main ways that I'm able to process and even combat the sometimes crippling feelings that stem from it. Relatable. Like what else can I say? This is so relatable. For me, at least, like as a songwriter, as an artist, you get creatively exhausted. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like pursuing something that I love, music, is, has been like smooth sailing. It hasn't. <laughs> you get creatively exhausted and then that like can sometimes take a toll on your social life and your mental health and then you just feel super lonely. But nobody really understands that. Those times, those really like low times can hit me really hard. But just like Mokita, like I use songwriting as a like a form of therapy for me to kind of get through those difficult times. And it really has helped me. Like I write about how I feel, I commit it from my mind to paper, and somehow I feel better after doing it. I definitely resonate with this song, like on a songwriter and artist like level. So my favorite lyric in the song is this quote that something doesn't feel right, it's like I'm colorblind, because everybody's world's in color except for mine. Yeah, like this feeling of like not fitting in or feeling like people don't understand what you're going through or feeling like everyone else is doing better except you, like that sort of feeling, yes, super, super 
relatable and like right in the feels. Mokita hopes that this song encourages those out there to seek help if you're in a really dark place in your life or if you're going through depression. And I think for any songwriter, like whenever they write a song, I think the intent is to impact people's lives in some sort of way. So if you're looking for like a in your feels type of song, like this is a good one. Colorblind by Mokita. Okay, let's get on to the fourth song. Here we go. So this song sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> The fourth song that I'm sharing with you guys is called Better This Way by Ryan Flores. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk too much about this song, but yeah, this is my, not my debut single, but this is like the debut single off of my upcoming LP, Introspective. Yeah, the song's called Better This Way. It's like a road trip type of song. Like, imagine yourself like driving down a country road with the windows rolled down and the sun shining bright and the wind blowing through and you just feel good about your life because you've dropped all that negative baggage and left it behind, okay? So Better This Way, it specifically reflects on the moment you realize that the person or people you thought you could confide in and love actually don't reciprocate that same sentiment. Ooh. <laughs> You're then left to deeply contemplate if you're better off pursuing life separately while constantly going back and forth with how they made you feel and ultimately letting them go. <laughs> Hashtag better this way. Uh, yeah, definitely check this song out. My debut single from my upcoming LP, Better This Way. It's a bop, what a bop. <laughs> okay, let's get on to the fifth song. Here we go. song that I'm sharing with you guys this week is called Cafe Speed by an artist named Jordan with two N's at the end. Uh, and Jordan is an independent singer-songwriter from Montreal. My first impressions of this song, I'm really feeling this 80s inspired production. I've said this multiple times in previous vlogs where I kind of gravitate toward productions like that because I just like how it sounds. So this song, it has like that synth line and reverby drums and those keys and that funky sounding bass again, which is super, super forward in the mix. Like you can totally hear that bass. I feel like I could hear this song playing behind some sort of club scene or like some late night scene in like an 80s TV show or maybe even like an indoor roller skating type of arena if that's what it's called, I don't like, where you like roller skate inside. Which is so funny that I say that because I watched the music video shortly after discovering this song and then coming up with that imagery and that's where the music video was shot, in an indoor roller skating arena, bruh. <laughs> so the production choices made on this song certainly transport you back in time. Like it definitely sounds like an 80s inspired type of song and to be honest, like lyrically, I don't know what the hell this song is about, like I really don't. <laughs> And like there's no articles or any interviews out there that kind of explain what the song is about. So until then, I'll just enjoy the production because it's on and poppin'. I think the last thing I want to mention is like I discovered later on that this song was also mixed by Jesse Barrera. What? Like, what? Like just, it, that's just crazy to me that this artist also worked with Jesse Barrera. Like I also worked with him and like, yeah. So definitely check this one out. It's an 80s inspired type song, Cafe Speed by Jordan. All right, let's get on to the sixth song that I want to share with you guys this week. Here it is. So the sixth song that I'm gonna share with y'all is called Eternal Light by Free Nationals and Chronics with two X's at the end. <laughs> and this song again is not something that I found on my own and it hasn't been released in the last month. Again, shout out to Mark for recommending this song to me. Mm -hmm. I guess he got some good music taste, what a bull. Free Nationals is a funk band that is best known as Anderson Pack's live band. 
and then Chronix is a Jamaican reggae musician and artist. So first impressions of the song when Mark first showed this to me, like those guitars and that bass really jumped out to me right at the beginning of the song and bruh. Like this band paired with those vocals makes for a really like chill laid back mellow type of vibe. Like it's a good vibe, like a sensual sultry type of vibe if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my favorite lines in the song, quote, no bad vibes can't stop this good vibration. Like, you're damn right. Like, miss me with that bad vibe. Miss me with those bad vibes. Honestly, when you listen to the vocals on the song, you can just hear how the vocalist is just so unbothered uh, in the way that he delivers like the lyrics of the song. It just sounds soothing and relaxing and carefree. And again, that bass line, I feel like I'm like hypnotized or whatever because bruh, I love that bass line. <laughs> Definitely check this one out, Eternal Light by Free Nationals and Chronix. All right, let's get on to the seventh and last song that I want to share with you guys this week from my Sidetracks playlist. Here it is. I wanna be in, I wanna be So the last song from this month's sidetrack playlist that I want to share with y'all is called I Wanna Be Yours by Pink Sweats and Crush. So Pink Sweats is an R&B singer-songwriter from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Crush is an R&B and hip-hop singer from South Korea. Hashtag K-pop. <laughs> First impressions of this song, this song combines elements of hip hop with that backbeat and rolling hi-hats and then R&B with those like velvety sounding vocals. Ooh, ooh. Like it's definitely a head bopper. So this song, it's about wanting to be with someone who is currently with another lover. Super relatable. Again, super relatable. They both express how much they adore their significant other and how much they want to be with them. You know, you know this. So the production overall, like it has me bopping. Starting with that acoustic guitar, followed by that pulsating kick drum, which then transitions into like a really catchy hip hop inspired beat. And then all of that with like smooth velvety vocals on top. Yes, yes. So definitely check this song out. I Wanna Be Yours by Pink Sweats and Crush. All right, those are the seven songs that I wanted to share with you guys this week. Again, you can check out the full playlist on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music. It's called Sidetracks. Be sure to save it, share it with your friends, and let me know which songs you like from this month's playlist. And yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for all of the support you've shown on my new single, Better This Way, which released last week. Uh, yeah, it's just been a crazy, like week and a half or so since it's released and I've had people come to me and give me feedback on my song and it's just been it just makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing for me like pursuing music and it just makes me so happy to see such a really good response and this is just the beginning of what's to come for Ryan Flores uh, the next single will be coming out sometime in January so I'm looking forward to that and I'm really thankful for all the support that you guys have shown um, yeah, it's just so inspiring to me and yeah, I'm gonna keep writing, I'm gonna keep making music behind the scenes and I'll keep y'all updated on what's going on with that. Yeah. Okay, that's everything for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash rfloresvlogs for vlogs every Tuesday and give this video a like, click that thumbs up button for me and ring the bell to get notified of whenever I post a new video on this channel. All right. That's it for me. See you guys next week. Bye.